Good morning. It is Wednesday, which means it's a rest day. I was hoping I'd sleep in a little bit, but here we are. It's okay, consistency is good, so now I can get more things done. Um, but today I'm just gonna show you what I eat um, during a rest day. So a little bit different than what I eat on my training days. Also a lot of things are the same. So we're gonna get started with my uh, lemon salt drink and then some coffee. So I'm not gonna do, I'm actually gonna do hot coffee, which I know is um, a departure from what I normally have, but just feeling it today. So I'm gonna use, um, I normally get Pete's, which I think I showed in my last video, but I found this at Trader Joe's, way cheaper, and I think tastes really good too. So Trader Joe's, dark roast. Okay, so while that's finishing up, I'm having like a few pieces of dry mango, just a tiny bit, um, super random, I know. And that's probably the biggest difference between my training and my rest day eating. It's just, I still hit the same macros, all that stuff, more or less at the same time, but it's like a tiny bit more random. <laughs> um, so today, because it's gonna be a slower morning because I don't have training today, I'm just gonna be chilling with my coffee. I'm not really ready to eat like my big breakfast yet, um, but I wanna have something, I don't know, a little bit as I'm drinking my coffee. So I'm just having probably like half a serving of these. And I normally get the regular ones, not the organic, but they didn't have those. So so just wanted to show you guys. <laughs> um, any thought? Wait for the coffee to finish and then just hang out on the couch for a little bit. Okay, so had some coffee, hung out, called my mom and Sean, chatted for a bit, and now it's time to eat breakfast. The same breakfast as I always do, so I apologize if you're sick of seeing me make this or eat this, but it's what I like, it works, it tastes really good, um, so we're gonna make that. So we got turkey bacon and then some oatmeal with all the fixings. So, so normally I don't eat eggs or just in my regular, on training days, I don't eat eggs, but I really, really love eggs. I used to eat them every day, but I don't know, just over time, just realized they weren't sitting super well with me prior to training. So I usually just stick with them on rest days now. So this what breakfast will be the same as what I normally eat um, on a training day. And I eat this after my first workout. But the only difference is I'm gonna add um, an egg or two into it. So, yeah. Some oatmeal, I do a half cup. And then I just added a tiny bit of cinnamon before I put this in the microwave. So right now, Got the oatmeal in the microwave. And then I've got um, one egg with one, um, an additional egg white. And then three pieces of turkey bacon. And then while we're waiting, I'm actually gonna have wellness shots. So they actually started selling these at Whole Foods. Let me show you. Can you see this? Oh, guess. Oh, there you can see it now. So these are immunity uh, wellness shots. Um, this one has turmeric in it. So I love these things and the ones that, I know it's not the exact same brand, but if you get these at some grocery stores like Whole Foods and stuff, I think they're like three or four bucks each. But I got a pack of, I think it was 10 for 9.99. So if you're near, uh, no I'm not. <laughs> if you're near a Costco, definitely look out for these. Okay, so now I've got my oatmeal. 
and I'm going to add like 30 grams of raspberries frozen, like 30-ish grams of frozen uh, wild blueberries, both from Trader Joe's. And then I'm gonna do 50 grams of this banana, oh, there's, hang on. I'm really not a fan of bananas when they're browning like this, but I feel like mixed in, I can't really taste it, so it's okay. So now, I'm actually gonna do a mix, a little combo of crunchy almond butter and cashew butter. I know, super adventurous. <laughs> but just feeling like both today, so you know? I mean, I wish it was like two full servings of both. That would be way more fun, but you know, it's okay. Oh, so I did uh, two uh, tablespoon of each. 10 grams of honey. Got the oatmeal ready. And then I've got that egg with a little bit of the coconut ninja squirrel sriracha, um, some everything bagel seasoning, and then the bacon and my water. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go see Frank um, at Evolution Physical Therapy. Um, and before I head out, I'm gonna make a little snack um, and then when I come back, I'll have lunch. But for now, I'm gonna have, so I'm gonna have a shake, chocolate peanut butter shake, and then I'm gonna have um, a serving of the plantain chips from Jared Joe's. So, make that real quick. I don't always have shakes on my protein, or I was about to say, I don't always have shakes on my protein days. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I don't always have shakes on my rest days, um, but I'm going to today because it's a good quick snack. And I feel like it just helps me reach my overall protein um, or daily protein uh, intake a lot better or easier. But honestly, I try if I can on my rest days, if I can, not that I think it's bad, but if I can get all my protein from regular food, try to do that, especially on um, my rest days. So I'll have that and then measure out my plantain chips because if I don't measure them out, I will eat like the whole bag. Oh, no. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my shake, eat these, my battery's about to die, and I'll see you at lunch. Okay, so it is lunchtime, and I'm sorry I did not film me making this, but I feel like I've made this meal many a times already, <laughs> or something like this. Um, so there wasn't much involved except for putting it all in a bowl. So what I've got is, got a cup of brown rice, sauteed kale, bison burger from Trifecta, some pickles, dill pickles, that uh, coconut ninja squirrel sriracha, and some of the green hot sauce from Trader Joe's, and of course, everything bagel seasoning. So I'm gonna eat this. Um, I was just chatting with one of my best friends, Molly, um, so that's why I, uh, I was talking to her while I was making this. But um, yeah, I'm gonna eat this, and also have, just picked this up, my favorite. I, don't, I can't remember if I talked about my favorite uh, sparkling water, but when it comes to LaCroix, I think this is number one, then it goes tangerine, plain, and then maybe like lime, and then the rest, they just meh. <laughs> but let me know what your guys' uh, favorite sparkling waters are or if there are some that I should try we can have a debate about i don't know if you're gonna change my mind about this being number one but um i guess you can try <laughs> but, um, i'm going to eat my lunch um been cleaning a bunch today so I'm going to eat this go back to cleaning and then um and then i'll see you at the next meal or snack or coffee probably is what <laughs> is up next <laughs> okay so ate all that and then I wanted to have something else so um, I'm having some of these these are probably I don't know if they're my favorite but they're up there like a top top three for sure um, I love this brand love this flavor they also have a bunch of other good flavors barbecue was oh, so good but for whatever reason they don't sell it anymore um, so I'm gonna have a serving 
of these. Um, and then I think I'm actually going to, well, once I finish up cleaning, I think I'm gonna make some of those protein cookies so I can have a little treat later. Oh, right, oh, coffee. I just looked that I had made myself coffee. Okay, so. So I know I've mentioned this before, but this is the creamer that I like to use. It's the Nut Pod Creamer um, in vanilla. And so I'm gonna put two tablespoons of this in here. There's just ice in here. Put the espresso. Oh, and I'll show you guys what espresso I used. Really like this kind too. Um, I think the last video I used the Illy, or I think that's how you pronounce it. Mm. Not sure. Yeah, so it's this one. So this was the one I was using last time. Still really love this one, but this one is also super good. So now I'm gonna have my plantain chips. Ooh, no, that's not good. <laughs> um, have some coffee, and then I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna take a little break from the eating today and I decided um, as I'm cleaning out, decided I needed to clean out or go through all my swimsuits and figured this would be a good time to share with you guys what my favorite swimsuits are, what brands I like um, for training versus just lounging and whatnot. So, and having been, especially with the training side of things, having been um, a collegiate swimmer and swam like pretty much my whole life. I'm really, really picky about suits and especially in training, how they fit, um, if they have a lot of drag, all that stuff. So I figured if I'm gonna go through my suits, I might as well share this with you guys. I've got a lot. Um, so some I probably have been holding on to for far too long. Yeah, I guess we'll just get started. So one of my favorite brands on, um, or my favorite brand, period, for training, whatever you're doing, water polo, swimming, triathlon training, um, just learning how to swim, like whatever it is, Jolin is by far, hands down, the best training suit to wear, um, especially when it comes to two pieces. So in college, I only wore one pieces, hated training in two pieces, um, which meant I had a super cool circle tan on my back, but I did not care because I just hated the way the two pieces felt in training. And when um, I started swimming again because of CrossFit and all that stuff, um, didn't want to wear a one piece anymore. Sometimes I do, but I'm now way more comfortable in a two piece because one pieces just don't fit me the same. Um, so. Yeah, Jolin, there's no drag. Like even with, I'll show you guys some of like the higher neck pieces, like water doesn't catch, cause that's one of my biggest pet peeves. So whether it's bottoms or tops, I don't want any extra drag, especially if I'm competing. Don't need to make it harder than it already is. So these don't have drag. They're super comfortable. They stay in place. I really like that they have the option in their tops of a tie back or just a standard back. I personally like the tie backs. Um, they just feel a little more comfortable on me. Their bottoms also come in different um, coverages. So whether you want like a lot of coverage or not as much. Um, and so like depending on like, maybe you want more coverage for a workout because you're gonna be moving a bunch. Um, so it's nice that they have those options and they, the bottoms all have a string so you can tighten as you please, which is really nice. But anyways, I'll, I'll stop talking and actually show you the suits. There's a few styles from Jolin that I particularly love. So one is this high neck one and we all know, or if you've seen, followed me on Instagram, seen my videos, I love high neck sports bras, suits. I just, I really like how they look and I don't know, I feel really secure in them too. Like, I mean, from a, like working out, like I could do, I don't know, handstand push-ups and swimming and anything in between and feel good about this. Um, and then nothing's gonna be popping out. But, um, so these have the tie back. I also have that in red, which I wore in an earlier video. Um, and then they also have, I really like their triangle tops which you may think might not be great for training in, but they actually stay in place super, super well. And again, obviously this one for sure, no drag in the middle. So they, Jolin also makes one pieces, and this is, I think the only one piece I still have. 
because the red, all my one pieces from college do not fit me anymore because I, my body was very different. So what I really think is cool about their one pieces is that they have tie back one pieces. For me, a lot of the issue with whether it's my sports bras or swimsuits, my back is quite large. Um, and so I'll tend to, but I'm not like super chesty. So if sometimes if I go too big, then there's like too much room up here. But if I go too small, then I feel like my lats are getting suffocated. So that's an issue I run into a lot. So I really like the tie back for that reason. So this one is super cute. Ties in the back. I really like on the sides, it has this like detailing. So it's, I don't know, makes it kind of cute. So it's not just like another one piece. Okay, definitely don't need that. When I was a senior at Cal, we got all got Jolin one pieces. So this is another style of top, the vent top. These are really good too. And I like that not only does this look cute, but it's gonna be functional too, because it's preventing any like water buildup. I don't love this style on me personally. Like it's super cute on other people, but it's not my favorite. Um, and then we got these bottoms. So now we're moving on to bottoms. Cal on the butt, super cute but I love the material. It doesn't, also it doesn't get like stretchier and bigger once you get it wet. I hate when suits do that. Like the material gets somehow baggy when it gets really wet and that's just like the worst thing ever. And this is like, I mean, geez, so what is that now? This suit is like eight years old and it looks brand new. So, I mean, this stuff lasts a long time and Jolin, like they're super, super reasonably reasonably priced for how good of a suit they are. Um, and then they've got the drawstring in here. And again, I also like that the drawstring isn't stretchy itself, so it actually holds into place. So they also make bottoms that don't have a drawstring, which if you don't need one or you just want like a suit for like lounging and stuff, really cute. This one doesn't have a drawstring. Wouldn't recommend this for actually like swimming fast, but for like chilling at the pool, it's a great suit. I used to be like super into patterns and then I got like, really like this color, like rose, dusty rose. Yeah, I don't wear that anymore. I'm trying to be better about like, I can go through this and justify keeping all of this, but I really just need to be like, if I haven't worn it in months, it needs to go. Um, here's another vent top, but it's like triple vent. This one's pretty cute. Again, like I don't think this one looks particularly great on me, but I think it's a cute, really cute style. I just like the higher neck and then the triangle ones on me the best. More bottoms. We'll go through all the Jolin stuff first and then, oh, this one for sure keeping. I love neon. And don't wear this. See, this type of stuff I don't want to get rid of. Like this is a cow swimsuit. I'm gonna just keep that for like sentimental reasons. I put this on though like a year ago and it like, God is tight it does not fit well <laughs> oh this is the europe bottom so like very standard like relatively skinny on the hips far like if you're new to jolin or are like i just don't know which one to get i recommend the these the europe bottom they also come i think this is like medium coverage so you can go up or down depending on what you want Need that see like these are the suits i used to train in for the most part they just don't fit me very well anymore. So, you know, this, no, oh, we're getting a deal real. We'll stick to these for now. Yeah, so this is one of those like fixed backs that I talked about. Super, super cute. It's just a little tight on my back. And I find the tie backs just easier to get on and off. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like anyone else out there with like a big back get like stuck in things. Like I legit, almost got stuck in, I think, I don't know, some sort of top, a bra, tank top, whatever it was, at Lululemon. Like I almost had to ask someone working there to like come and help me. Like I was scared I was gonna have to get like cut out of it. So I, I don't like uh, putting myself in those situations. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so this is like one of their fixed backs. Really cute. I mean, and honestly, like a lot of these can double as sports bras. For my video, when I uh, was doing like the beach day on my balcony, I was wearing that red high neck one and it functions like super well as a bra. So, I mean, for the fix back too, you can definitely rock these as regular bras. Oh man, games bottoms. Molly and Jen, we were on a team together. These went so far up my butt. That was not, that was not great. So that covers, um, like suits that I train in. So obviously there isn't a whole lot of mix of brands. Just love Jolin. So those are all 
staying with us. I dumped a few out, those aren't exciting. But anyway, so getting to my more like leisurely ones, pretty much boils down to two brands just for chilling at the pool. I post a lot about these on my Instagram. I've gotten a few questions about where they're from. Um, so majority is from Frankie's and Frankie's bikinis and um, Bondi, but specifically they have a line, Bondi has a line called, I believe it's Bound by Bondi. Frankie's first, just like by far with both of these, by far like most comfortable. Um, I think they're really flattering. They also both have lots of colors, styles. So depending on your body type, like they have a lot of options. So with Frankie's, I've got a few. I really like their tie tops. I think this is called the Greer top. So that top, these are definitely the Greer bottoms. These, very cute, very comfortable. I also have those bottoms in blue. And I really like that they have like the, I'm really into like sets, you know, doing like all one color. Um, so they have this top too, which I really like in the back. And just for reference, if you guys, I don't know if you guys care, I'm a medium top and bottom. Sometimes I'll go large top just because of my back. <laughs> um, but for the most part, and they're really stretchy. They have adjustments on the straps too. So this one I really like, hot pink bottom. Um, I love the top in this, but I really should have gotten a large because it's like thicker strapped. So I love this top. It's so cute but it's so tight. Especially like, I feel like I need longer straps. So I don't know, I need it to be wider and longer. Definitely wish I got a large. So maybe if you're looking at this one, maybe size up a little bit. And then I do, I think these are called the Willa bottoms. As you can see, I'm a big neon fan. And then that one is with top. Go a little more neutral, just like a regular string. Bikini top, really like. I think I got a medium this one, yeah, medium. And then also with the Willa bottoms, like these a lot. I don't know if it, I think Diane's Beachwear is a, yeah, it's a chain um, and there there used to be two here in Phoenix and now there's just one, unfortunately. But but um, I really like this, like little buttons there. I actually have this in a one piece. I actually really like this. It's really cute. I know it like, looks kind of weird holding it up, but I actually wore this as just like a bodysuit not too long ago with like jean shorts and it was super cute. I feel like it's good if you're like, I don't know, going to like when pools and things open back up and you go to a pool party. It's like a fun, you know, cause you could like, I don't know, go out in it or go to the pool. And then last top from Frankie's. This is relatively new. So it's like that. You're like, no, Kelly, that looks ridiculous. <laughs> but anyways, you get the point. Very cute. I love white. It's just so hard to... If you guys have any uh, suggestions for like a what, uh, bathing suit cleaner, especially for white bathing suits, please let me know because I could really use that. This is a recent new favorite. So it's Bound by Bondi and it's an Australian company. So the Bound line is... Um, oh, I think I first tried it on at Diane's Beachwear, the store I was just talking about. So um, the Bound line is a one size fits all swimsuit line. And I was like, there's no way. But you know, it's like, you know what it kind of reminds me of? But like these are way more attractive and way cooler. But I don't know if you guys, uh, if you're like around my age, you'll know. But remember those like tiny little shirts that were like all scrunched up? and then they like stretched out super, super big. I thought those were so cool and they were very cool at the time, but that's what these kind of remind me of because they look so small and you're like, there's no way that's going to fit me and then it does. Um, so they have, again, they have, especially now, I feel like they've um, been adding to this line a lot. They have a tons of different styles, tons of different colors. Um, I've had to really stop myself from getting like all of them because I really like honestly one of the most comfortable suits I've ever worn like I'll put this on go you know like outside on my little bike ride or whatever um 
my stationary bike ride, not like I'm not wearing this and biking around, but um, uh, and I'll just like, like especially the tops, like I'll wear it all day. Like it doesn't cut into my back or my lats or anything like that. So comfortable. And especially lately I've been trying to be way more aware of just ex sun exposure and like not damaging my skin. And so I've been really working on covering my face a lot and also my chest. So not only do I like the high neck because I just think it looks better on me, but it's also covering my chest as well from the sun. So anyways, so the top that I really like, I can look up the name. I forget the name, but so the first color, I have it in two colors, this one. So a nice red, it's kind of like racer back in the back. Very, very stretchy i'll show you like very stretchy so the bottoms um again kind of like jolin you can go like it's based on coverage so red bottoms um so basically they have three different options and i forget the exact names of them but you can go yeah like least to most um but yeah and then the other color i have is black bottoms with, I was super excited about this one, the white top. I don't know, I just love the white, it's so good. But I didn't feel like, I don't know, I was like a little nervous to do white bottoms because I wasn't sure how um, the white would be, but it like it doesn't look see-through at all, which is good. That's my swimsuit haul. This has been very long and I think my camera's probably gonna cut out soon. But I hope this was fun. This was actually really fun. I got rid of like a good amount of stuff. Personally, like those are by far, hands down, my three three favorite brands right now. I'll link all the styles that I talked about um, in the description. Now that I've got that done, I think actually speaking of bathing suits, I think I'm going to go hang outside for a little bit. It's a really nice day here. It's been like consistently in the high 90s, like hundreds, but today's a little bit cooler, so I'm gonna take advantage of that. And then I will see you at the next meal. <laughs> And look, it all fits now. Okay, so it is, whoa. <laughs> so it is much later. Hung out outside a little bit, did some work on the computer, some reading, and now it is time for dinner. So I am making, um, I have some trifecta steak and chicken cut up. And then I just wanted, I'll show you when it's all done, but I wanted to show you, um, I was talking about how not a super big zucchini fan, but I've been trying to find like new ways to cook it, so I'll eat it. Um, and so one of the ways that I've enjoyed so far is like making these little like skinny fat noodles with it. So I just take the zucchini and a peeler, just keep peeling it, so then it's like making little ribbon type zucchini things. So I'm just gonna throw this in with my chicken and steak, saute it up a little bit. Um, and I will show you when it's done. Okay, dinner is all cooked up. Got some Japanese sweet potatoes. I made those a little bit differently than I normally, they just take a little bit longer than normal and so I remembered why I don't normally make them like that, but they're really good. So I actually boil them first, then bake them um, with a little bit of coconut oil and sea salt. And then I've got the trifecta steak and chicken here. And then the like ribbon zucchini with a little bit of garlic on there. Of course, we're gonna be doing the combo right now of these, and then um, my everything bagel seasoning. So I'm gonna eat that, watch some, actually, ooh, I think The Last Dance, unfortunately, is over. I wish it was like a 30-part series, um, but I think they're playing game six on ESPN right now, so I think I'm gonna go watch that. Okay, so it is time for the final meal of the day, or final snack, kind of. I feel like my hair keeps looking crazier and crazier every time I turn the camera on. Probably because I have so much dry shampoo in it. Well, partial one, because I'm working out a lot, so dry shampoo is essential. But also, <laughs> because I haven't gotten my hair highlighted in so long and my dry shampoo kind of has like a white hue or like blonde hue to it. So I end up just spraying it just so like my hair looks more like not as, like my roots don't look as bad. T little tip if you're, you know, you can't get to the salon right now. I use the Moroccan oil uh, light tones, love it. 
Um, but yeah, nothing to do with eating, but yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have, well, actually I had something before. I had, I had one of those protein cookies uh, that I talked about or that I made in one of my previous videos. They look like this. Or they're just a really good macro-friendly treat that I like to have during the week. Um, so I had that as kind of like my little dessert after my dinner. Um, I have, I might have room to have another like half one later, maybe. But now we're gonna have some, uh, well not peanut butter and jelly toast, but um, cashew butter and strawberry jelly toast. So I think I mentioned this in my what I eat in a day video, but this is my favorite gluten-free bread. I like the Trader Joe's one too, but man, this is better. It's also bigger, which is nice. Little bit of cashew butter. Okay, so last meal of the day. Maybe another half a cookie later. I'm still hungry, but I'll probably be done eating after this. Probably finish chewing them. One thing I've really been trying to work on is rest day or training day is um, is um, not eating too late. So I definitely have a tendency to like eat right up until I go to bed, which I know isn't great. And so I've really been trying to work on being done eating um, around like two-ish hours before I go to bed. So it's 7.30 right now. So that should give me a good enough time. And then macros wise, pretty much protein's the same, fat's the same. Sometimes on my rest days, if I'm not as hungry, I'll do a little bit less carbs, but today I did the exact same uh, macro breakdown as a training day. Um, just tends to look a little bit different. Um, I think I might've been a few carbs short, but yeah, as long as I'm within a range, like we're all good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to finish watching the rest of game six, even though I know what's gonna happen. Um, I don't know, it's it's so cool to, well, especially since there's no sports on right now, it's kind of nice to be able to watch something like this. And I've also been watching the Green Bay Packers Legacy documentary, which is really cool. They started, um, they do, every Thursday they come out with a new hour long episode and it's um, by decade. So they started in 1919 and then Every episode is just another 10 years. So I think tomorrow, the 1990 to 1999 one is coming out. So that'll be really fun to watch. I'm gonna eat my toast, watch this game, and I will see you guys next Wednesday. Yeah, so I forgot to mention that I was gonna have some tea in my awesome Netflix Christmas cup from my sister-in-law. I love this cup. So I'm gonna have my tea and then I'll be done. I'll show you what tea it is. Dandelion chai, this. Going to have that, watch the end of this game, and then get ready for bed. Thank you for watching, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. You know